Service Podcast. Like tra- so, what, you, what you say, the uh, transversal uh, orientation. It's like you was just kind of trying to follow the light, and she was more right on the pulse of it. God, God could just be a pure light. Yeah, it's like love. You know, but that's but, but but I've heard gospel songs, and they say, like he said, when I meet God, like what will I do? Will I fall to my knees, or will I just pour out like rain? What what will happen to me when I actually meet Him? Like what will it be like? When that happens, will it be what I thought it was going to be when I, like, you know, you see the light and they say follow, go into the light. They say, it's, you know what I mean? And it's like, is, are you going to have to go into it or will you be in the midst of it? And that's that's a whole other experience that you can't really fathom. Uh, uh, um, um, I don't think you really need any motivation because the feeling you get from the light, okay, yeah. it's like an overwhelming joy. It's a magnet. The joys that, uh, I don't just, yeah, it's kind of like, but like... Gravity. You... you you're gravitated towards it. Mm. You, 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 you know, it, it's 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 it, coming it's, out it's of an, you. You know what I mean? Over, it's an overwhelming, welcoming feeling. So <sighs> that's you're, 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 you're really you're really not afraid of it. Like, like that's hard like, to that's hard to grieve with, man. How do you like? How do you how do you how do you conceptualize this there, stuff, man? Some people might be some people might be afraid for different reasons. They pass in a different uh, in a violent way, in a wrong yeah. way, whatever, whatever, whatever. So maybe they're further away from life for different reasons, but you got to find you a therapist, bro. You got to find somebody to help you with this, with this, with this, bro. And, 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 and man, we. No matter how hard life gets, man, we got to live our lives to, to the best and fullest, and, and we can't end our li- I, I believe, firm believe, man, like, right, we were talking about many times, you, yeah. you know, you, you, can't ever, you can't ever think about ending ending yours prematurely, because this this life, as painful as it gets at times, is only a blip of existence. When our souls are outside of our physical body, that's eternal. You don't want to do something that... That 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 unnatural. It's natural for us to pass. Let us pass naturally, the way the universe intends us to. Yeah. Uh, uh, that is our, our reward. The, our best reward we could ever get is getting towards that light. That's when your work I is actually if, done. If, yeah. So if we, if I, that's what I believe, like suicide is about. If we snub our life prematurely, that's not. That's the worst way to to, to snub God. Yeah, it's just, and you're starting your growth. You're starting it. You're starting your growth, and, and you're saying, God, like, I, I, I'm, I'm not grateful for the. It, it's terrible as our lives are. The meek are choked and inherits the earth. If, yeah. you, if, you live through, if we live through our struggles and, and we go naturally, we get closer to the light. And I think that's just what really heaven is all about. It's inevitable. It's not a place. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, it's proximity. It's not a place, it's proximity. And the levels of, of hell or, or, or heaven are uh, uh, maybe it, 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 just do your best, try to live your life right. No matter, we all sin, we all fuck up. But as long as you keep striving, when we do die, we are either closer to that light. I was about to say, Kendrick Lamar has a has a has a line in his one of his songs. He said, "This country is is not it, it's not a place. It, it means to be a sound." A drum and bass. So it's like you can be a snare in this song. You can be a, a, a an effect on the vocal in this song. You could be in a, a a sound effect. You can be a, a a bass. It's like if you give up though, you take your place out of the beat. You see what I'm saying? You remove yourself from the whole rhythm. You take yourself out. Of a rhythm, and it's like you you don't understand the the, the concept the, the concept. You know what I mean? At that point, that's why you kind of probably feeling weak. You feel like you're only this drum sound or, or this snare or this thing, and you feel insignificant. When in reality, it's like like I said with this lady's life, bro. Like 
it's something that her life did to so many people that it's like it, it sounds dark, but it's like, how long is she supposed to be here if she's doing the work she's supposed to do? How long is she supposed to be here? Okay, I mean, she, she did her work. She did her work, and I can't imagine how many people lives she touched. Uh, other yeah, women, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a thing where you have to like know when to like, and it's like. People who like uh, like 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 with me, I feel like I ha- I haven't found that yet, so I'd be ready to give up sometimes. She, you know what I mean? She did the so, so, you know, she, 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 was, she was closer. She was closer to that life than we've been, so we can't we can't question. Yeah. The, 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 I think her passing was when she was taking a turn for the worst, and she already has been near death. She's the best. She's she claims she can ask to project. They like Emerald, so she probably asked to project more easier than I can. Yeah. And, She's, she's closer of an astral plane in general. You know, she's not near death. So when she's near death and she's already connected to the astral plane, she's probably seen some loved ones. You know, like an angel probably came. Like the, it like probably somebody, wasn't like, as dark as we might perceive it to be on yeah, the outside. No, it, it, it was probably like an angel having a discussion with her, like, listen, uh, um, it's your time. Yeah. You know, you, you, you've done your work. The uh, Lord is grateful for it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's your time. And, yeah. and, and you're not going to argue with that. If you, you know what I'm saying? I think Corona yeah. just, just came and it was so violent. It was so disruptive that it makes us all feel very left like with this type of void. I think it left a lot of... Like, Corona was so spontaneous. I feel like the void that it leaves in a lot of people's lives is like a hole. And that's, the, that's, that's, that's what I feel like... That's why that's that's why I'm talking to you because I feel like like I don't know what you're doing. You said you're grieving right now. It's like that's what I'm saying. It's like I want you to kind of I want I want you to kind of feel that connection. Like my dad, right? Father's Day just passed. You go ahead. No, you good. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> but now if they call back, just go ahead and answer. But um, no, I'm saying like Father's Day just passed, and it's like I've reached a point now where I'm like. Okay, I used to feel like my dad needed to be here longer, but now I kind of feel like he if he was here longer, I wouldn't be who I am. You know what I mean? So I kind of need it. I need, I need, I don't know. It's like I need him in the spiritual form more than I needed him in the physical form. I don't know how to explain it. It's like I wanted him in this physical form because I could talk to him. I could, I could hold him. I could hug him. But at the end of the day, bro, like he does way more work for me without being here than he could have ever did here. He was so limited by boundaries and rules and money and politics. It was so much shit that he couldn't even get to me because he was, I was too young, Lord. It's like, you see what I'm saying? The physical part of it is sometimes the problem and that's why we get so caught up in it and it's like our ego and it's all this shit. Like we want people for ourselves and then we get to this point when, when we don't have that option anymore and it helps us understand their real power. You know what I mean? We understand what they was really here to give us because there's none of the extra stuff involved anymore. You know what I mean? We, and, and I think that, like, like I said, man, I, I, I just don't want this to... I, I'm trying to help this be a more positive effect on you than, like, how my dad's death was. It's like, my dad's death was like... Dale, I told myself before he passed, I told myself, once my dad died, I'm going to just, I'm gonna, you know what I mean? I'm going to fuck this up. I'm going to let this go. I'm going to throw this in the church. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm going to have an excuse to just wild out. But then it was like, like that's, that's too easy. And it's not what he want. Like, that it ain't at all nothing he told me to do. Like, what am I, like, I could do that. But it's like, when I started, like, living with him, like that, like, not, not, not him dead or his physical body trying to imagine like him being here. I'm saying when I started living with him, his voice, everything he told me, everything he wanted for me, when I started just focus on his passion and his in- in- intention, that's what, that's when he started to live through me. And now it no longer even feels like he's dead. Like at this point, I don't even feel like he's gone. I feel like I'm here, so we're here. You know what I mean? I'm anxious to hear what you say once you reflect on your old sessions. I'm anxious to hear about that stuff because I think that you're gonna look at it totally different now because you're gonna look at this woman way more than you even looked up to her now because she she's 
she was in tune with another realm is what I'm saying. You only get a little bit of that understanding because she was still physically here. The fact that she's not here anymore, it might make the things that she said way more potent. And you might actually understand a whole layer that you didn't even see because she was still looking at you. You should still see her. It's like now that you can't, it's, it, it might, it might, it might transcend all this physical stuff that you're even dealing with right now, trying to understand it, trying to rationalize with everything. I'm going to be a better place when it's a original. I'm about to say, I don't know what it's like. I don't know what it's like to live there. Damn, you gotta know, bro. I love you, bro. I feel your pain when you say shit like that. Like, I be wanting you to have what you what you deserve, bro. I feel like everything you get keep getting taken from you. And as your friend, I'm like, I'm going to be here to help you. You know what I mean? Like, do this shit. Like, that shit fucked up. I appreciate you, man. I don't want to, like, 